Gigafactory construction comparison for all three sites, Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and Giga Texas. Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. Giga Shanghai. In the area just north of Phase 2, last week we saw a few sticks and a bunch of footings, and this week we see the footings are all but complete, and the steel structure is just coming along quickly. We don't know what this area will be used for, and it kind of doesn't matter. It's critical, it's being built, and it's approaching completion. Between the battery factory and the uh, south end of phase one, there's a lot of construction. Last week it was just a mud pit with a few sticks, and this week it's a mud pit with a lot more sticks. It will be erected very soon. The bridge to the, what would that be, the uh, east of the site is all but complete. It should be done next week as it has been completed with concrete as of now. To the north of the site, near the offices of phase one, you can see that there is a lot of uh, clearing that has been done, presumably to make way for something new. Even if it's just a parking lot, we don't know. To the south of the battery plant, we can see some earthworks in action. We don't know what's going on here, but clearly it is something. The gap between the buildings looked pretty clean last week, and now it's looking, I don't know, kind of like a mess. It, it, it looks worse than it did last week, although I'm not sure what's going on. Although here we can see, to the side of the plant, Tesla has begun to encroach onto the melon farm. Apparently, the melon farmers found out this week that they will no longer have access to the site, and that the plant, the Tesla plant, will be expanding onto that territory. So that's something. Giga Berlin. We can see significantly more concrete has been poured on the roof and more of the finished roofing material has been installed. More wall panels are up, and much like me, a temporary second floor loading platform has been erected. Much of the material on the ground has been installed since last week. Concrete has been poured, nearly completing the floor, and much of the finished roof work has been installed. At the front of the building, roof work has been advanced, a few more columns have been added, and the second floor has increased from just a few sections to nearly the entire width of the building. Along the side, where the loading docks are, the second floor has increased to almost its entire expected size, and roof sections have been attached. Additional exterior walls have been added, with some on the second floor, and significantly more on the lower floor where the loading docks are nearing completion.
After a very brief shutdown to the clearing of the wooded area for further expansion, courts have ruled that they may resume felling trees to clear the area. For what, we are as yet uncertain, though sources in Germany, specifically Tobias Lind, has said that this will be a staging and logistics area. It is also believed that the footprint of the factory may begin expansion into this area as work wraps up on phase one. If there are ways you'd like me to do these videos differently or additional insight you feel I could provide to further your understanding, please let me know in the comments. A handful of interior shots were leaked this week, showing progress hidden from the drones. Crews are busy pouring concrete floors to allow equipment installation. In some areas, we can see deeper isolation foundations are being poured to accommodate heavier equipment. Concrete work also continues on upper floors. The site is really beginning to take shape, though we can't see anything that would indicate power, water, or HVAC have begun work. Giga Texas. The amount of progress at this site cannot be understated. The massive gazebo last week is now a veritable pavilion this week. Every area on the site has work in progress. Vastly more footings are being carved out or completed, and significantly more steel has been placed on the site. The serrated and scalloped pit is no longer a pit, but has mud at the bottom, which is to say rough concrete, and finished footings around the side of it, with significant footings already carved to the south. The large pit is becoming less of a pit by the day. It is being backfilled readily on all sides, and you can see there are now two, four, there are now five cranes in this area, where last week there were simply four. The massive concrete structure has quadrupled in size and is nearing completion. If you're curious if I have a Patreon, the answer is yes. And if you're wondering how many patrons I have, the answer is none. It's okay. We'll get there. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the first one? I, I don't know. Here you can see the amount of groundwork for footings to the south end of the west side has substantially increased. The footings already poured has grown significantly. The footings cut in for continued completion increase. And the perimeter wall has grown from a bit to a lot. It was previously about a quarter of the site, and now it's about a third to a half on this side. Here you get a much better picture of the structure. And you can see that while last week there were four cranes on this side, there now appear to be six. While the sticked up, floored, and roofed section remains insignificant in comparison to the total footprint, the increase over such a short time is encouraging, especially considering the additional steel that's been placed on the site over the past week. 
what am I missing or misunderstanding? Leave a comment below, and if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up if you appreciate the video, and subscribe if you're not already. It's the only way YouTube knows to share this with others who share the same fascination with this stuff as you and me. The temporary concrete batch plant is running at full speed. There are always trucks waiting to load and unload, I guess. There are, I mean, the amount of dirt and gravel and, I don't know, stuff that goes into a batch plant is never ending. And the pace is pretty ridiculous. And one of the reasons that they run an overnight shift is because the concrete plants cannot keep up. And I mean the temporary batch plant, as well as the Martin Marietta permanent plant, which is still on site. So that's it for this week. Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots.